Hello everyone, welcome to another tech review. We're looking at smartwatches today. Now I've taken the straps off these to make them uh, nice and flat on the table so we can have a look at apps. And apps are key for smartwatches and phones. Uh, both Android and iOS have millions of apps on their app stores and you can get apps for virtually anything. But smartwatches are pretty new and this here is the Gear Live, one of the new Android Wear smartwatches. And, uh, this is the official Android Wear apps list, and as you can see here, there are quite a few, but we count them up and there are actually only 32 apps officially available for the uh, Android Wear devices, which include this Gear Live, the LG G Watch, and the Motorola Moto 360, which is not yet currently available at the um, middle of July 2014, but it's due in August. Now, there are many more apps actually available for the um, Android Wear devices, but you won't find them on Google's official list here in the Android Wear app. Um, but we're going to show you how to get hold of them. Now, if you go to the Google Play Store and type in Android Wear, you will come up with the Android Wear Store, like so. And the Android Wear Store actually has uh, a much bigger list of apps that will work with your Android Wear device. In fact, once it's booted, it will show you that there are actually 113 apps. Now, new apps are appearing here all the time. In fact, when we checked this before we shot the video, there were only 110. So three new apps have been put onto the store in the last half an hour alone. And um, I really do feel that Android Wear on these um, three devices that are currently available is the app developer's um, portable format of choice. I think we're going to see an awful lot more apps coming out. So I first reviewed this watch one week ago exactly on Monday when they were launched and when they were first available to customers. And since then, enormous developments have taken place. There has been a software update and uh, there have been many apps released that improve the usability of this watch because initially we all had the uh, OK Google um, functionality and that was all there was with this watch. Um, finger taps and swipes were not really part of the operating system to the same extent as they have been previously. But now we have a variety of apps that make the watch much easier to use, uh, including this lovely little launcher. You just swipe across and all your apps come up here in this list, which makes it, and controls and settings, which makes it a much more useful device. It's much easier to do that than to say, okay, Google, and then settings, and then carry on from there. Look, it's heard me say, okay, Google. And let's have a look at some of the apps, that, other apps that are available in games. Uh, I'll just take you through a few of those. Now, the first Flappy Bird clone was called Flopsy Droid, and uh, this is it here. And you have to tap the screen and make the uh, droid jump through the pipes, just like Flappy Bird. And, oh dear, it's dead. Right, well, there you go. You know the idea. Uh, this is not exactly new, but it's a little bit of fun if you need to waste some time. So there are a couple of games available for this. There's Tic-Tac-Toe and two Flappy Bird clones. So other app utilities are speedometers, uh, spirit level, Pinterest, um, language learning. So there's a and some watch faces. There's quite a variety of apps come through uh, in just the one week since this product uh, was launched commercially. Now let's have a look at the Tizen operating system and see what there is available for that. Of course, you are completely tied to Samsung for that, but that's not a bad thing. They're a very big company with enormous resources and they have developed some, apart from the ones that are built in, they have um, had quite a lot of app developers uh, do some great apps for this, this operating system. So with this one, you go through the Gear 2 Neo Manager, the Gear Manager, and it's um, accessible from your drop-down from your notification panel. And um, there are a lot of apps available for this. I'm just going to take you through the apps that I've downloaded for my uh, Tizen operating system, Gear 2 Neo. Um, I've downloaded, a, a paid for, a, a very, very good camera app, which we'll have a look at the moment, which is a remote camera. It shows you what this camera on here is seeing through the screen of your smartwatch. Um, and it's very, very good. Uh, I've downloaded a free version, which has a very slow refresh rate, which is why I paid for the, the better one. There is a GPS navigator, uh, a very nice, very low power consumption watch, a bike computer, which uses the GPS in your phone to work out your distance, uh, retro games, which is basically Snake, Pong and Tetris, um, PayPal, Planetarium, which is sort of an astrology app, really, not really so much um, an astronomy app. Uh, Flexi Messenger, which lets you compose messages and straight from your watch. You don't need to 
receive them from your phone and then reply. Uh, a couple more watch faces just to try them out. Reminder to take tablets, um, 2048, very good for passing the time. Flashlight, which basically puts the screen onto maximum brightness for five minutes, and it's quite handy if you haven't got some torch with you. Uh, a very simple calculator, which is very handy if you need it. And um, watch on remote, which is um, all these are free. And there are actually very many apps in the App Store. Let's just have a look. So let's have a look at uh, categories so we can have a look. Oh, they've updated the App Store massively. So there's hundreds of different watch faces here. Um, just keep rolling down. Lots of different interesting watch faces for you to choose from. Really, an enormous variety of. Um, watch apps. Um, I could keep going, but uh, I'm going to get bored with that, and so are you. So we'll go back from that. Health and fitness apps. Um, oh, look, Karma Sutra. Uh, running apps, the bike app, which is quite good, how to get fit in six weeks, a sleep app, um, running and cycling, push ups, sit ups, okay. Any number of health apps. Uh, finance, well, calculators, currency converters. Um, etc. Stocks. Oh, that's a barcode reader. Tip calculator. Lifestyle apps. So the camera. Uh, startup quotes. Okay, the navigator. eBay. Um, CNN. Biorhythms. Quite a number of apps available for this operating system. We could keep going here. Quite a lot. Okay, uh, social networking. Well, SMS, Glimpse, Facebook Quick View. I don't know how good that is. I haven't tried any of these. Not an enormous number of social networking apps. Entertainment, uh, more watch faces and games. Okay, I don't know quite why they're not in the games section. Some of them are as well. Okay, photo galleries, ball games, dice. lie detector, but again, quite a number. Right, and last of all, utilities. So you've got your calendar, all the cameras again, a dictionary, unit converters, flexi messenger, galleries, calendars. Okay, quite a variety again of different apps for that. Even some watch faces in there. There's quite a lot of overlap between the categories here. But there are several hundred apps available, um, two or three hundred at least, on the uh, Samsung Gear apps list. And they will all work with your Gear 2 and Gear 2 Neo. So there you go, that's a, a list through there. Um, but these have been out now for four or five months and the uh, Gear Live has only been out for one week and it already has over 100 apps available. So I really do feel that the Tizen, which I, I really like Tizen as an operating system actually, it's, it's very easy to use, you know, it's, uh, it's well thought out, it's very nicely designed um, and the device works beautifully, it does everything it's supposed to do uh, very, very well. I'm quite pleased with this as a, as a watch. Um, but I really do feel that it's probably going to end up being a dead end and that the Gear Live and all the Android Wear devices, when they come out in their next iteration, their next generation with speakers, will probably be the um, ecosystem that takes preference. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, as usual, please post them in comments and I will try to answer them for you.